Hi, I'm Derek with WeBoost. What is a femto cell? Well, this is a femto cell here. There are a couple different ones. This one works with AT&T, and this one works with Verizon. And then here are a few examples of a signal booster. They both look pretty similar, and they both do essentially the same thing, which is provide you with cell coverage in your home. But they do it in a very different way. A signal booster works by taking the weak signal outside of your home bringing it into your home, amplifying it, and then sending a strong signal throughout your home. When you make a call, it then does the same process in reverse and sends a strong signal back to the cell tower. A femtocell, on the other hand, works through your internet. So you connect it to the internet, then it will create a small area of coverage in your home. When you make a call, it converts that cellular signal and sends it through the internet to a femto gateway, which then sends it out. There you can see the basic differences between the two. A signal booster uses existing signal and boosts it, but it does require some signal to be there. It can be the tiniest faint hint of signal and it will still work, but it can't create something out of nothing. A femto cell, on the other hand, requires an internet connection, and it will slow your internet down. So it's all about the details. Let's talk about coverage. A femto cell will typically cover about a single room, so if you want to cover your entire house, you'll have to set up multiple femto cells throughout it and we'll get into that a little bit more later. A signal booster, on the other hand, will cover anything from a single room all the way up to a warehouse based on the signal booster that you choose. Uh, for example, this Echo here will cover about 1,200 square feet. How about users? A femto cell will usually allow four people to use it at the same time. You can have more people in standby mode, but only four people can use it simultaneously. A signal booster doesn't have any sort of limit, so you can have as many people using it at the same time as you'd like, and it will be just fine. How about accessibility? A femto cell is carrier specific. What that means is this one's only going to work for AT&T. It's going to use the specific frequency ranges and bands that AT&T uses. So if you had AT&T, but your wife has T-Mobile, then it's not going to work for her. She's not going to be able to connect and she won't be able to make a call. A signal booster covers all frequency ranges and all bands, so no matter what carrier you're on or what phone you use, it's going to work for you. A femto cell requires you to sync or register your phone and then log in to use it. So that kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, having multiple units throughout your house. You'll have to sync and log in with each individual unit. And handoffs can also be somewhat touchy. Going from cellular inside and then handing off to the femto cell can create issues. Once you set up a signal booster, you're done. It just sends signal throughout your house, and that's all you need to do. What about maintenance? Is there any sort of upkeep on something like this? A femto cell can require a monthly fee. It just depends on the carrier. So check with your carrier and see if that's something they require. Also, because it uses the internet, it will be eating up that data. So if you're on any sort of a plan that has an allowance or a cap, keep that in mind. A signal booster doesn't have any sort of allowances or monthly fees, so once you install it, you're good to go. And all of Weeboo's signal boosters are smart, so that means they're constantly checking and updating themselves to make sure that they're running at peak performance. A femto cell will only work in your home, so if you need something while you're on the road, you're out of luck. And while these signal boosters here are specifically for a home, WeBoost makes a whole line of boosters for vehicles, whether you need one for a car, truck, RV, boat, or pretty much anything else. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison of signal boosters and femto cells. We hope this gives you an idea of what each one is and how they each operate. And hopefully this helps you be a little more informed. If you've got any questions, please leave those in the comments below. And please subscribe to our channel. We release videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.